Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve part four of question number first. Again, you have to complete complete the square of this particular equation, and after that, you have to find out the roots of for this particular equation. Now, because here the coefficient of x square is two, and you have to make the coefficient of x square as one, so divide this whole equation by. Two, so this will be x square plus x by two plus two equals to zero. Now we have all the positive terms, so we we'll use the formula for positive, and we know that this is basically in this form. You have to convert this, and after that, instead of this, we can write this term, and after that, we are simply able to solve for the uh, to find to find the roots. So this is basically a square, and uh, you can remember by wherever the x square, this should be a square, and wherever there is only one x, and that should be treated as two into a into b. And uh, now again, I have to write something as b so that the value of this whole term get to uh, do not change, but It, the answer comes out to be x by two. So we have already x, but instead of two, we need one upon two. So here I am writing one upon four, so that two can cancel out two, and the result will be x upon two, same as this result. So we have a square plus two into a into b. So obviously our b is one upon four. So our b square must be one upon four square, and positive two will remain as it is. So this value is equal to zero. So we have a square plus b square plus two ab. So in place of this, we can write a plus b whole square. And ah, uh, one thing is important again. We have only added square term to this. We have to subtract also so that. The result of this equation do not get changed, and after that, this positive two will remain as it is. So, in place of this, we can write x plus one upon four whole square, and in place of this, but uh, this is basically one upon sixteen and plus two equals to zero. So, we can further solve it. This is x plus one upon four whole square. So taking 16 as LCM, so this will be minus one. This will be uh, 16 to 32 equals to zero. Further solving it, 32 minus one is basically 31 upon 16 equals to zero. And Shifting this constant term to this side, so the equation will become x plus one upon four whole square equals to minus thirty one upon sixteen. And if you want to remove the square, you have to square root both the sides. So when you square root, square root and square can be cancelled. So this will be one upon four, and the value of this will become minus thirty one. Upon four, uh, this minus should be inside the bracket, and the result must be positive or negative under root thirty one upon four. So again, the value of x one upon four can be equal to plus under root minus thirty one upon four, or the value of x upon four can be equal to minus under root minus thirty one upon four. Shifting this constant to this side, so the result of x will be plus root minus thirty one upon four plus one upon four, and similarly shifting this constant to that side, so the result will be minus thirty one upon four plus one upon four. Taking four as LCM, so four, so this will be minus thirty one plus one, and clearly the another value must be. Minus thirty-one plus one. So these are two values of x for this particular 
quadratic equation mean? Basically, these are known as the roots of this quadratic equation. Thank you.